Have you ever wondered how would it be to become a James Bond in real life? I admire your luck, Mr. Bond. Do you want to enter the crime scene? A terrorist attack zone? And, uh, James Bond? Today, I'm going to tell you about the world's finest and elite force which India has. That is the NIA. Beautiful girls and handsome boys. Join now. And I promise you this is not a normal video. This video is going to be next level because this is not just a monologue. It's a dialogue. That is, I will be asking you one question after this video which will have a price connected to it. So please do watch this video and I'm telling you if you watch this video completely till the end then only you can understand that question. So do comment that in the comment box with your Insta ID so that I, I can uh, announce the winner in the Insta. I'll be elaborating this in the last. So fasten up your seatbelts, just dive into the video. The NIA, National Investigation Agency India, the most elite investigation agency which is also the best in the world. To specify, today's discussed National Investigation Agency is better than the America's FBI. So how was that elite force born in India? No one can ever forget 2611 attack on Taj Hotel in Mumbai. Ten men from Pakistan entered India illegally and reached the business capital of India the glorious, richest, Mumbai city, that too highly armed with AK-47s and cages of bullets with few bombs. On 26th of November 2008, they opened the fire in the peaceful Taj Hotel and shot down anyone they saw. They entered each room, killing crawling babies, chefs, staff, pregnants, old people and other foreigners. Total of 250 people were dead. Sorry, were killed. After a lot of research, Center has knew that this was purely because of the communication gap between the state police and the intelligence. So this agency came into existence with the enactment of the National Investigation Agency Act 2008 by Parliament on. 31st of December 2008, which was passed immediately after the 2611 terror attack. NIA is very young. That young, that is 121 years younger than IB, Intelligence Bureau of India, 45 years younger than CBI, Central Bureau of Investigation, 106 years younger than CID, the Crime Investigation Department. We can surely do say that even though it is the youngest investigation agency of the country, it maintains the conviction rate of 90%. Huh. Conviction rate means the ratio of number of cases solved, the ratio of number of cases registered. So, as this 90% is as per 2020 survey, we are very close to one of the best elite U.S.'s FBI Federal Bureau of Investigation which has the conviction rate of 93% as per the survey held in 2012. If they reveal the present day's conviction rate, NIA is never behind the FBI, we may be equal. This is not my assumption, this is because NIA has been proving itself to the world with every case it takes up. NIA is completely an anti-terror agency established by Indian government to tackle and combat terror. So you cannot register a case in NIA if your third girlfriend thrashed up your first one. I'm sorry guys. So how powerful is it? It is damn too hot to handle powerful. I say the most. If they want to investigate, they can go and ask 
for any person in the country. Even if it's CM, they can take him for 24 hours without any arrest warrant. NIA has the power to keep a suspect up to 24 hours without any warrant as said before and investigate in the way they want. Guys and girls, keeping a suspect for 24 hours without a warrant is not at all a small thing. This power is only and only given to NIA and not even the CBI, which is the topmost. It's just because they are born to tackle the most sensitive issues, terror related activities, which has the deadly potent to destroy and destruct the internal security of the country. So what do they do after, after 24 hours? The suspect should either be produced in the court or should be let go of him. NIA is not restricted only to India. It also does file international cases and goes abroad for investigation of the case. Yes guys, in the cases where Indian embassy will be attacked or if Indian people are attacked in the foreign states, then NIA is the one which responds. Do you think that the terrorist in 2611 made it for the first attempt itself? In the first attempt itself? No. Earlier in 2006, the police had captured the terrorist who managed to get in 43 cases of RDX, 10 AK-47 assault rifles, 3,200 live cartridges, 50 hand grenades from Pakistan into India in Aurangabad. This is popularly called Aurangabad's arms hall case, which one of the terrorists was Abu Jindal and he was traced in Karachi speaking to Ajmal Kassab team while they were spilling blood in the Mumbai Taj. And later it was proved that he was one of the mastermind behind 2611 attack. The astonishing thing is that he's an Indian. On 21st of June 2012, Abu Jundal was finally arrested when he was deported at Indira Gandhi International Airport, Delhi from Saudi Arabia with the Pakistan passport. The credit of tracking that idiot and arresting him is given to our NIA. Being one such powerful and finest and sharpest force, NIA does not have the time to waste for the public courts in the country. So there are 38 special courts designated only to look after the cases put forward by NIA. This is what makes NIA maintain a decent conviction rate. National Investigation Agency has its headquarters in New Delhi. It also has 8 branches in metropolitan cities which are NIA Hyderabad, NIA Guwahati, NIA Kochi, NIA Lucknow, NIA Mumbai, NIA Kolkata, NIA Raipur and NIA Jammu. It is governed by Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India. Presently, Amit Shah governs NIA. The strength of NIA is above 600 and budget is 16 million dollars. The executive of NIA at present is YC Modi, IPS, Director General. Who can get into NIA? The biggest question for everyone is this one. Initially, only the people from the paramilitary forces like CBI, CRPF and also from other state police used to get into NIA. The finest in these forces used to get into it. But later, NIA has also started recruiting directly. The direct recruitment is only for the post of desk staff like IT expert, legal advisor and research officer. But it's said that even today, field officers are chosen from the paramilitary forces only. Field officers are those who are on the field at the attack zone, probing and investigating. So this is it for
for today's session. Now, the question time. That's it. Na 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 na. It's the question is never easy given by Rohan. So I'll help you. The hint is the answer is in the video. So think hard, you'll get the answer. Comment the answer below with your Instagram ID. I'll pick the winner and let's see who the luckiest person is to grab the prize money. So today. This I hope this session is will be useful in your any part of your life, either in SSB interview or in any other job interviews or government interviews, anywhere. But it will come useful. Thank you. Signing off, Rohan.